Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little spin-off of a video I did a couple of weeks ago in which I showed you how to do a lead magnet in a MailChimp landing page. In today's video, we're going to be doing a lead magnet in a WordPress website. So we're going to use a page and we're going to be using Gutenberg. So let's get started. <laughs> So this is the lead magnet giveaway that I have on my website. This is what it looks like behind the scenes on the WordPress admin side. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a brand new one so you can follow along exactly how I built this, okay? So I'm starting out with a page. So I'm gonna go over to pages and click on add new and I always open it up in a new tab. So we'll add in a title, call this protection professionals. ebook just to be different for those of you who don't know what else i do besides these tutorials on my youtube channel i'm also president of the international security driver association and i'll leave a link below in the description so you can get more information on that so simple enough just an easy title there and then we're going to click this little plus icon here or you could go up here to the top left and click that plus icon and what we're going to do is going to add a blog so we'll click plus and we'll search for column. And we're not gonna do tiled, we're not gonna do advanced columns because that's a separate plugin. What we're gonna do is just a simple column. Click that. Now our column will be separated in threes, so we're gonna click on the 33, 33, 33. Easy enough. So the next thing we've got to do is we've got to click on this little plus by button inside our column to add another block. And in this case, we're going to put in an image. There we go. And I'm not going to be creating the same image. I'm not going to be posting in the same image. I'm going to show you how I create book covers and such. And I use that with a tool called Canva, C-A-N-V-A. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And I use their, in this case, I use their book cover templates. And if you go over to Canva and you search for book cover, like I did here, they'll give you a whole bunch of templates that you can use to get started with. I created the blank book cover to get started. And then it'll give you the templates again. And then I just search for business like that. And then I used this one over here to start with, and then I ended up with something like this. So it has the title, it has a little thing here, and it has my, the author name, okay? So I've already downloaded this, so we're all set there. So what I'm gonna do is go back to our new page, and I'm gonna click on Upload, or what I can do is just drag and drop onto that block, like that, and up comes the image. So that's all we have to do there. The next thing we got to do is got to put, tell people about our book, right? So we want to click on the plus icon here again, click on the paragraph. Since I'm not doing anything different uh, for this ebook, I am just going to copy over the text that I have existing. So we'll do that. Okay. So that's our paragraph. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to hit the enter key. That'll start us off with a new paragraph. But instead of a paragraph, I want a list. So I'll click the plus button here and I'll type in list. There we go. And it starts us off with a bullet and I'm just going to paste in the rest of the content. There you go. Good so far. Are you with me? So the next thing we've got to do is put in our call to action. So we're on the last column here. We're going to click on add block. We're going to do paragraph and we're going to paste in the rest of our content. And also making sure that people understand they'll be signing up to receive other things other than the ebook. And we'll hit the enter key again, create a new block. We're going to do a short code. So we'll go up here, we'll do a short search for short code. And there's our short code. Okay, so so far we're good with this. Now, the big step here is that I have a plugin. So I'm not using the MailChimp sign up form or the MailChimp embed form, I'm using a plugin from Ibericode called MailChimp for WordPress. 
okay? So that's the process I use. I'm gonna show you a little bit of that now, but I did a video a couple of years ago that you can find right here that you can go take a look at to get more information on the process, setup process. So just to show you the back end of things, let's click on the form on the uh, MailChimp for WordPress, open up in a new tab. And then in the form section, you can do uh, add in different form elements. Once you have your form set, you can go into messages. So if you want a default message, you can change these if you'd like. Then you can go into settings and making sure what list it's going to, if you're doing double opt-in, and if you have a tag. In this case, I have a tag called ebook. Now, if you have the premium version of MailChimp for WordPress, you can add in multiple signup forms with multiple tags. So if you're doing three different landing pages with three different giveaways, you can do that type of thing with the premium version of this plugin. Stay on the settings and we'll scroll all the way down and it says redirect to URL after successful signup. So that's going to be our process. When someone signs up for this ebook or this giveaway, this lead magnet, they're going to get redirected to a thank you page with a big button that says download ebook. Okay. So everything looks good here. I don't have to change anything because it's already set up on existing. So all we need to do is grab this short code, which is at the very top here. So we'll grab that, copy that, go back to our new page, and paste in our short code. At this point, we'll save the draft, and we will preview this. Okay, that looks pretty good. I might want to have the image a little bit bigger, but, you know, it's not bad. Let's just uh, save this as it is. I think we make this uh, image a little bit bigger, so we just drag from the bottom and make it a little bit bigger. Now, I'm not gonna go into SEO or all of that stuff. I have uh, Yoast SEO, I'll, maybe I'll save that for a different video. If you're interested, post in the uh, comments below and I can do something on that. Uh, but this is where you would add in your meta description, you would add in your focus key phrase, you would add in all that stuff there. So what I'm going to do right now is going to click on publish. And again, Yoast gives you all these little warnings here. Hey, this really is bad. <laughs> Please improve it. Uh, but we're going to ignore that for now just for this video. I'm going to click on publish. Okay, and then we're going to view the page in the incognito browser. There we go. So there's our new landing page. So we're just going to do a simple test. We'll do testing. We'll do hello at larrysnow.me and click on sign up. Now here's our thank you page. It's very simple. Uh, it just has a button here, like I said before. We'll click on that button and it takes you to our download of our ebook. So there you go, guys. That's a simple landing page setup, three column Gutenberg block, grabbing an image that we created over in Canva, plopping it in there, getting our existing text. Now for you, if you're creating a giveaway, you'd have to create the content for yourself. And then lastly, we used a plugin called MailChimp for WordPress from Ibericode that we put in there. And then we just grab the short code and put it in our landing page. And then with that setup, we just did a redirect to a thank you page where people can download the ebook. Very, very simple setup. You could probably do a little bit more advanced stuff here, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to set something up like this. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you're new here and you enjoyed this type of content, make sure you click the subscribe and also the bell icon so that you get notified when a new video goes up on the channel. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.